Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I have my journal here. I wanted to do a November plan with me. It's been so long since I've done one of these videos and today I thought would be the perfect day for it because we just launched. I just wanna say thank you to everyone for supporting Dear Wildflowers. This has been a lifelong dream of mine. I've loved stationery for as long as I can remember. So I'm really happy that it's finally here. Thank you so much. Uh, so now I wanna kinda of jump into maybe giving a little shop update because a lot of you have been asking me if we're going to restock some of the items we did sell out of the stamp set which is one of my favorite items i mean i love everything in the collection but i do see why this item sold out because it is so versatile you can do so much with it and it's just so nice and small you can bring it around with you so we are working to restock the stamp set the best way to know when we restock is to sign up for the notify me on the website our website is dearwildflowers.co so if you sign up then that way you can get notified over email as soon as we restock the stickers we still have more of so i highly recommend if you guys want to pick up some stickers i think this is such a great value it comes with two sheets or five dollars and these stickers are nice and thick they're really nice quality so yeah i love these we did also sell out of the two and a half inch stamp block so we are also working on restocking this one we still have this smaller stamp block left um, in the shop so in case you want a small one this one does work with most of the stamps in the stamp sheet but as you can see we have some longer text here some of these bigger ones they don't fit but this one i like to have when i'm traveling because this can fit easily into a pencil case this larger one you can fit the big ones in there uh, but as you can see it is bigger so it doesn't fit in a pencil case but yeah we are working to restock this one as well as for the pens these are some of my favorite colors from tombow i believe majority of these sold out i think we just have olive left and maybe this lighter brown we're also working to restock that as well i love using these markers just to decorate the pages um, and i'll also show you how i like to use them on a day-to-day -day. so yeah these are my favorite markers we are also working to restock this pen as well this is the uniball 0.38 this is my favorite pen and my favorite nib size for pens because i like to write smaller and the pointier nib just allows me to write small and we still have the washi tapes in the shop i love these washi tapes they're just like simple nice earthy colors this is a grid a floral print and a sage color and i think that's it for the shop update so yeah follow me on instagram or dear wildflowers instagram if you want to have more up-to-date updates but now let's jump into journaling so this is the folio we still have the folio available this is the bundle so you will get the cover and you'll also get the notebooks inside and it also comes with the everyday notebook so when you buy the bundle you're getting essentially like five notebooks and the folio so we just finished for the month of October. Now, after I flipped the page, I did put in some dotted pages here so that you can take some notes in case you wanna do that. An extra blank page. And then now we're at the monthly spread. So I'm gonna show you how I plan out for the month. This is the cover page here. So usually when I am working on this, I like to just take the whole insert out. And that way I have just like more flexibility. I can bend this back so that it lays really flat. I think for this month, I'm just gonna keep it simple. That's sort of my goal here with the new journal. I'm gonna grab my ink pad. I think I'm gonna play around with green and black today. Here is a old stamp block that I got. You've probably seen this if you've seen my other journaling videos. The stamp set's really cool. If you've never seen how this works, you just take a stamp out, pop it on the stamp block, and then now you can use it as a stamp. I think stamp sheets have been around for quite some time now.
So now this is where I'll use the stamp sheet again. The numbers, it's kind of hard to see, but they are listed here, number one through nine and zero. So I just take one of the little stamps, oh, pop it on the back of this, and then I just start stamping away. Usually I'll use one and then I'll count two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that way I don't have to put away the stamp every time. So Wednesday we're going to do the 10th, then 11th. Also with these stamps, because they're small, I know it's tempting to like push hard on it, but you really don't have to push hard. When you just gently apply some pressure, I feel like they work even better. So I usually just lightly tap it and you can see it stamps really nicely. We are already working on the next launch because as you guys know, production and all that takes a bit of time. So we are already planning for the next launch. I'm super excited for some of the stuff we have in mind, but if you have any suggestions, please comment it below and let me know. Let me know what you would like to see. I usually just like to decorate it lightly because as the month goes on, I'm going to add more to it so I don't go too crazy. I'll probably use this green. We still have the green available on the shop. This is a really pretty green. I think it's called Olive. Yeah, it's called Olive. After you're done, you can just take the stamp off and you can put it back and reuse it whenever you need. All right, now we're gonna flip the page and this is where I'll punch in all the dates. Isn't it just the best feeling when the month starts on a Monday? I love that. I don't, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the point of the stamp block being clear is so that when you're using the stamps, you can see through to the other side so that you know you're not upside down or something.
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and fill in some things that I already know I need to do for the month. So on Friday, I have a draft that's due. So I'm going to write that in. finished my weekly pages I like to use the dotted page afterwards to mark down my brand campaigns is pretty much how I plan for the month uh, now I'm going to do a final flip through to show you what it looks like so this is the monthly spread. Here is the first page. I really like this month's theme of farmland. <laughs> I think this is super cute. Here's the second page. I hope you all enjoyed joining me today. I had so much fun journaling with you guys. Please like this video if you wanna see more of these plan with me's. Um, if you have any other journaling content you wanna see, please comment it down below. And if you would like to check out my shop, it is dearwildflowers.co. I'll put it here on the screen. So once I'm done, I will just pop this back in here. All right, so I think that about wraps up this video. I hope you all enjoyed journaling with me. I had so much fun sitting down journaling with you guys again. It's been so long overdue. So I hope this was fun. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And thank you so much for supporting Dear Wildflowers. I cannot wait for you guys to receive your products. When you do, please tag me in your photos on Instagram. And that's it. Thank you all so much for the support and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.